I know I'm a little bit late with this story right here, but you know, I get so many stories I have to go through almost every single day, pretty much. And this one right here is a, is a doozy, like many of them are. So in this image, you see a teen. We're going to find out how much of a teen he is, because if he's, okay, he says 18. I'm, well, I'm going to consider him a grown adult. They say he's 18 whose name is Justin Olsen. And as you can see, he has Texas on his shirt, and that is where he is from. It says on this article, on this um, title, it says, Shoot every federal agent in sight. Teen behind online threat had 10,000 rounds of ammo in his house. He was planning to do some things, I should say. Not something, but some things. Okay, it says, in an online forum, he went by the name Army of Christ and praised the Oklahoma City bombing, mass shootings, and attacks on Planned Parenthood. What did I just say in another video? They find inspiration behind some of their worst people. Oklahoma City bombers, we're talking about Timothy McVeigh right there. Mass shootings, that could be just about any of them. And this is attacks on Planned Parenthood. I keep thinking of the one that happened a couple years ago. Unless there was another one that was recent. When the deadly siege in Waco, Texas came up, he allegedly offered one lesson. Shoot every federal agent on site. That was talking about the, uh, the biker gang that happened in Waco, Texas a few years ago. Don't comply. Again, I say don't comply. These are all quotes coming from him. With gun laws. Stock up on stuff they could ban. He allegedly wrote in another post. In fact, go out of your way to break these laws. Now, this is a palm colored male who's putting all of this out there on the Internet. He managed to, first off, he managed to get away with posting that online without them even taking it down or stopping him for him from him for posting more stuff. But. Us, on the other hand, we can post something that's way more tame than what he posted, and it'll get snatched down, we'll get banned for a couple hours. Hell, they may even shut down our entire page. Same thing with YouTube. He probably could have came on here and said all the stuff on YouTube and his channel would have still been up. If we say the wrong thing or title our videos the wrong way, flag. Channel terminated, all that, all that stuff. But to that, we say complexion for protection. The comments were all written by an by an Ohio teenager. Okay, so he's from Ohio. He just happens to have on a Texas shirt. Um, named Justin Olson, the FBI says in federal court documents. And when agents raided a home where the 18-year-old lived earlier this month, they found about 10,000 rounds of ammunition and a vault full of assault-type weapons and shotguns. On Monday, Olson was charged on one count of threatening to assault a federal law enforcement officer. I have a feeling that's the only way. That's the only reason why they took him in was because of who he threatened his case comes as federal agencies face mounting pressure to root our homegrown terrorists in the wake of two mass shootings earlier this month and amid a national upswing in violent right-wing extremism see what makes his case so bad is because he's basically inciting the violence while he's not going out there doing it himself, while he probably could, considering all the weapons and ammunition he found in his house, he's not wanting to get his hands dirty. So it's almost like he's being a voice for his people and telling them to go out there and incite this violence. Yet we're the ones that caused all the violence. We're the ones that caused all the um di um the division. You know all the you know all the palm color talking points that they can come up with to um to disparage us police rushed to arrest olsen just three days after mass shootings in dayton ohio and el paso with the local prosecutor citing the attacks as a justification for an urgent arrest in interviews with federal authorities though olsen insisted that he was no violent extremist then what the hell would you call it asked about the posting the team said they were hyperbolic and only a joke they love that's another talking point. That's another thing they like to go with. It was a joke. Everything is a joke to them until the joke is on them. His attorney didn't immediately return to a message from the Washington Post. Olsen's post, which came on a meme heavy website and app called iFunny, 
first caught the eye of an FBI agent in Anchorage who noted a surge of new subscribers to the Army of Christ account. The account's post included regular far-right white nationalist memes. On June 2nd, the February, I'm sorry, the FBI says he responded to another user writing about the 1993 Waco siege. Okay, so they're not talking about the one that happened a couple years ago. With his advice to shoot federal agents, when a subpoena tracked his IP address to Borman, Ohio, a suburb of Youngstown, an agent there picked up the case and began going through past comments from army of christ the fact that he got a lot of traction from when he said kill federal agents lets you know that palm color does not back the blue like they claim they do they just say that when it comes to us see they expose themselves every time you know what i have to give kudos to this individual right here because he actually helped expose them for the hypocrites and the liars that they are i mean we already knew it but like i said you see what they just did they flocked to him when he said, take out as many federal agents as possible. And they flocked to him like bees to honey when he said that. But these are the same ones that will go out there and yell, "Black, um, blue lives matter. But they only do that when it's a black person involved. Notice that that blue lives matter thing trended on Twitter when only they found out what area this was happening in. And they had already made it up in their mind that the shooter was black. But if the shooter was white, they probably wouldn't say it or it wouldn't have trended. I'm telling you, that thing trended high on Twitter yesterday. There was alarming support for violence, the FBI says, from backing mass shootings to assault and our targeting of Planned Parenthood. Even the Oklahoma City bombing shows that armed resistance is a viable method of political change. He allegedly wrote of the 1995 attack on federal building that killed 168 and injured hundreds there is no legal solution and they try to tell us that we are the ones that don't like this establishment we may have some issues with it but people like him and others who like have his mindset would r really like to see this place destroyed the agents tracked the account to Olson who had posted online that he'd earned an ROTC scholarship to the University of Texas and plan to move to Austin well that would explain the Texas shirt then on August 7th agents swarmed Olson's mother's house but learned that he recently moved to live with his father later that day they found Olson and arrested him he soon admitted to making the post the FBI says but claimed the comments were all in jest that's a hyperbolic conclusion based on the results of the Waco siege, he said of his instruction at to shoot at federal agents. He added that the ATF slaughtered families in the incident in which 76 people died as federal agencies raided a religious sex compound. Agents found plenty of firepower in, in Olson's father's home, though it was unclear how much of, the, of it the 18-year-old could access. There were about 300 rounds of ammunition on a stairway, the FBI says, and thousands of rounds of ammo, camouflage clothing, and a gun vault in another bedroom in the house. Agents eventually seized about 15 rifles and shotguns and 10 semi-automatic pistols. Olson is due back on court on Friday. They need to lock his little Dennis the Menace all grown up ass the fuck up. But you see what he tried to do? He he didn't do all this stuff because it was a joke. He meant that. He out here talking about stuff that happened when he wasn't even born yet. He was born in 2000. All the stuff that he's talking about happened when I was a child. 1993, I was four. 1995, I was six. He was in no of no existence when this stuff happens. But he wants to incite violence based off of those events. Like I said in my other video, they draw inspiration from some of their worst people. And then they get glamorized and then they get movies and shows made about them. Awards are won in their honor should they get nominated for the actor's portrayal of said roles. And then they say we are violent. Then they give us a label for the FBI, but they won't give them one. And I'm telling you, the one major reason why they was able to do it is because this because of who he was making these online threats against. And it just happened that one cop happened to have to be on that um, social media app that day and saw it. Had he not seen it, he would have still made these posts and then said that it was all made in um made to be a joke they love to say stuff is a joke because 
Death to them, I swear to God, I think death to them is funny. Almost like the Joker. Like, he died laughing. I swear many of them die laughing as well. They may not show it on their face, but they probably are doing it in their head, in their heart. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments.